My name is Simon Millman. I'm an industrial and employment lawyer at Slater and Gordon. Uh, the union have asked me to talk to you about the uh, EBA negotiations for a new enterprise agreement at the uh, Serco prison at Acacia. The Joint Consultative Committee is an important feature of the existing agreement and the union's view and my view is that the JCC should be retained in its current form. Unfortunately, Serco disagree with us and if you look at the proposal they've put out, you'll see that the JCC has been ripped apart and it's been left with no role to play under the new agreement if this agreement's voted up. Now that's a real problem for us because we say that when Serco comes to implement change in the workplace, when Serco comes to change the rosters or change the shifts or change the, arra the arrangements that govern the work that's being performed, those are the sorts of things that should go to the JCC where your union will have a say in how those changes are implemented. In particular, the current dispute resolution clause says that if there's any industrial matter that arises in work, that industrial matter can be the subject of an application to the Fair Work Commission. That means that employees at Acacia Prison enjoy all of the same rights as their brothers and sisters working in the public sector. That means that if there's an industrial matter that arises at any of those prisons in Western Australia, that can be taken to the independent umpire for an independent decision about whether or not the employer is entitled to do what they're proposing to do. What will happen if Serco's agreement is accepted by the members is that you'll become second class citizens. Your union will lose the opportunity to take industrial matters to the Industrial Relations Commission for an independent umpire to arbitrate on those disputes. We think that it's imperative that the dispute resolution clause in its current terms is retained in any new agreement that we negotiate with Serco and we particularly think that's important in circumstances where we don't know what sort of changes Serco have got proposed on the horizon. Right around the corner they could have significant changes and if they narrow the scope of the dispute resolution clause that'll deprive us of the opportunity of litigating that before the independent umpire and the Fair Work Commission. For all of those reasons it's my advice that members should vote no in these negotiations. Not voting doesn't equal a no vote so make sure you vote.